Welcome back to another video. I'm on an electric tri-car and we're on our way to Divisoria Market. I'm having to sit at the front because uh, it's pretty busy. My girlfriend's in the back. Earlier this handbrake almost penetrated my rectum. Located within the district of Tondo, Divisoria is an area that is famous for its abundance of propped up stalls selling a wide range of low priced goods. The region's name Divisoria which means divide was given by the Spanish colonials as the area was designed to keep the influx of Chinese migrants away from where the Spaniards lived in the walled city of Intramuros. This naturally led to the Chinese setting up business here and due to its close proximity to the Pasig River, commodities could be imported quickly and conveniently which saw the market thrive. Today the area of Divisoria is claimed to draw in a baffling 700,000 people per day, making it one of Metro Manila's largest and busiest commercial centres. We're entering the trenches of market stalls once again. Hello, I love being in places like this. Divisoria is another one of Metro Manila's massive wholesale markets. In a previous video, we actually visited Quiapo. I thought that was the biggest market, but people were telling me Divisoria is possibly bigger. So let's compare the two. Thankfully, I've come out here on a day where it's not raining. When I was in Quiapo, oh, I was pissing down. So I couldn't really explore as much as I wanted to. But yeah, look at the activity, the level of commerce going on here. There's transactions going on left, right, center, everywhere you look around. Cheap knockoff products, produce, uh, fruits, veggies are all being sold. And there is also a shopping mall here called Divisoria, Divisoria Mall, which is most likely similar to the one we saw um, called SM, SM Chiapo, where it's probably just like retail clearance. We'd like to check that out later on. But let's first have a look around here. As we've not had breakfast yet, we'll keep a lookout for any food stalls along this market. I've not seen any at this moment in time, but I've just arrived. There are a lot of stalls selling fresh produce on these sort of really rickety trailers. A lot of people have commented on the channel how I review these amazing, luxurious places in Manila. And then the next day you'll see me in places like Divisoria Market checking out street food stalls. That's me. I'll be taking it all in, exploring every part of Metro Manila. Is this for men? For men, yeah? How much? How much is one? 150. 150, okay. 150 peso. That's pretty good quality, you know? Like Uniqlo quality here. I don't know if it has something yes, to do sir, with it. Yes, sir, welcome to the jungle. <laughs> welcome to the jungle. <laughs> welcome to the jungle. I don't know if it has something to do with the weather, but Divisoria Market seems to have a lot more stalls and seems to be selling a lot more variety of products as well. I'm having so much fun walking around this market. Wow, it goes all the way down. Look how far this particular street stretches. You can just about see the end in sight, if that is the end. You know, we actually came here before, but it was like on the very first day when we arrived in the Philippines. And uh, we went to Tutuban Market, which is, I think, somewhere in that direction. I'm not 100% sure, but I remember at night we were walking along this very street. And this street becomes an entire night market selling really fresh produce and fruits. That's literally the only thing that they sell along this street at night. So the market actually continues across this main street in that direction to which we're crossing now. This part of Divisoria Market where I'm in. Hi, hey, hello, how are you? He knows my name, subscriber, yeah? Wow, nice to meet you. <laughs> this part of the market where I'm in doesn't seem to have a lot of food stalls. Uh, it's mainly like very small stalls selling like nuts and sweet corn, kind of like dessert, but not any proper meals. These chaps are like gladiators roaming the streets on their chariots. Walking through these markets, there's a bit of a pop in my step. And I guess that's because I love these sort of places. I love exploring these sort of 
chaotic and crowded markets here in Metro Manila. I used to do this a lot in Bangkok too. Having spoken to a local who owns a stall along the Divisoria Market, he told us that 168 is the place to go and eat. And so we've arrived here now. around about 5 p.m. and we've got the sun setting in the distance. Hello sir. Wow. How do I get through this? Hello, can I go through here? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. I can't get through this so uh, I'm gonna actually walk along here. A little cheap path. There you go, ma'am. Thank you, Paul. You're welcome. She sings well. Uh, this shop that we're entering through, we can actually access the shopping mall, right? Yeah. So this is another yeah. side of the Divisoria Market, which seems to be housed in a shopping mall. And they still do wholesale here as well. Hello, how are you? This wholesale retail mall uh, seems to be very well air-conditioned. Very nice. So if you do want to feel the busyness and the crowds uh, and you don't really want to walk around in the hot stuffy weather or the humidity, come to here. Hey, Hello, how are you? You good? Hey. Hey. It looks like this mall is around about five floors, maybe six, including a basement. But we're ascending the floors now to try and find the food court. Ah, I believe it's on the fifth floor. I just saw it. It's so convenient, the fact that it has air conditioning in here. Hello, how are you? I like the look of that dish just there. I think I might order up the same as I did in, um, where did I do this as well? Uptown Mall. Okay, madam. Uh, how much is that? 149. 149. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right, so I went with a budget meal uh, from Ballywag. And it looks pretty decent. I got beef calderetta with some peppers, maybe pumpkin, I'm not sure, along with some rice. And I believe this may be Inchon? Inchon? Yes, it is. It's a sweet liver sauce, I think. It tastes delicious and it's warm as well, unlike where I had it last time. And I also got myself a drink, which is a Royale. And it's basically a carbonated fizzy drink, but it tastes like Fanta, to be honest. Something in between like a Lucasade and a Fanta. And you have a Royale. Food from Ballywag here at 168 Mall, pretty legit. I like it. We've finished up with our food. We're now heading to the fourth floor. Oh yeah. To check out the electronic section. Another floor down we go. That was the electronics section, which is basically all electronics imported from China. I like this guy's shirt. Savage, bro. How much is this, sir? Uh, just waiting for my girlfriend to buy up her trousers. I found myself a nice little bar stool to sit on. Most of the things being sold in 168 seem to be in relation to fashion wear and clothes. There's just an abundance of clothing here, from sportswear to suits to dresses to shorts to jeans. How many items have you bought now? Two, right? <laughs> Four. Four? <laughs> Four? When did you buy four? <laughs> oh, I've been spoken to this lovely woman here. She tells me everything closes at 7 p.m. That's why you hear so many shutters. All these stores are closing. And that's another one there. On Google it says it's 24 hours, but it's not. We entered this mall during daylight and we've exited with no light in the sky now. So right next to 168, Tutuban is literally across the road over there. Hey, my friend. Hello, how are you? Yeah. Two joints? Uh, two joints, hey. Hunter, Hunter, yeah. 
I do. Hunter, Hunter, you like? Yes, uh, good. Go and kill you, uh, Kurapika, and uh, what's his name? Some my baby. Thank you so much, sir. I'll, I'll leave that there. Really Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you. All right. Just bought this little dessert from the recommendation of those folks earlier. Bloody hell, sweet. Woo it's so sweet. I'm going to down this now. All right, we're now going to go to Tutu Barn, but to get, to get there, we're going to have to take this footbridge up. I can actually see in the distance that the night market has fully opened up now, which runs right through the middle of Divisoria. Tutu Band looking really good at this moment in time. The last time we were here was um, the first day we arrived in the Philippines and that was really late at night so everything had closed up pretty much by then but things are flourishing at this moment in time. Hello, how are you? Uh, the real market of Tutuban actually begins over there, as you can see. And uh, we got this wonderful mango drink last time that just tasted absolutely delicious from here. But again, Tutuban is really orientated towards selling a lot of fashion wear. Uh, we didn't actually get to explore this building here, which looks like a train station again. Oh, it's even called the main station. So uh, if you didn't satisfy your shopping craze in 168 Mall, you can actually come over to Tusuban or this mall here, do some more shopping until 8 p.m. Yes, it closes one hour after 168. to come up here to the second floor of this mall here in Tutuban and look down at the numerous storefronts selling a bunch of various things. All right, folks, as we sit here and wait for our avocado ice cream from avocadadoria.ph, uh, I think I'm gonna be wrapping up today's video here. We've done a lot, seen a lot, and explored a lot here in Divisoria. We covered the Divisoria outdoor market, then the 168 shopping mall, and finally we've arrived to Tutuban as well. But if you appreciate the efforts and you enjoyed this video, make sure you subscribe to the channel, like this video and share this video with friends and family. And I will see you in the next video. Many thanks for watching guys. Take care and bye for now.